If you have a scalp that's dry, itchy, and flaky, this shampoo is going to change your life. Hey everyone, it's your favorite YouTube hairstylist, Becca, and I am here with a great shampoo recommendation for you. Well, you, if you have a dry and itchy scalp. <laughs> Before we get to the recommendation, I would like to personally invite you to do the best thing that you could ever do today, which is subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> that's a personal invitation. <laughs> On this channel, we do videos every week about hair, home, and lifestyle, so I invite you to join the party, because it's definitely a party. Over the years, I have struggled on and off with dandruff, with itchy, flaky scalp. There have been moments in my life where I could very well just shake out snow fall. When you struggle with dandruff and itchy scalp, it can be kind of embarrassing, totally annoying, just inconvenient for your life. You get flakes on your shoulders, you get flakes in your hair. It's just not fun. So when I came across this shampoo, it absolutely changed my life. The shampoo that I recommend to you is Kerastase, uh, Kerastase Bane Vital. Uh. <laughs> this one. The reason I struggle with Kerastase shampoo names is because I don't speak French. So instead of me trying to fumble through saying this shampoo in French, I thought I would bring on somebody that knew the proper pronunciation of this lovely shampoo. And without further ado, I would like to introduce you to my French translator. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Royce, l'homme de Rebecca, et Je parle un petit peu de français. Et aujourd'hui, je vais vous aider à prononcer ce shampoing. On dit bain vital, dermocalme. I think that last part's English. Au revoir. I hope you enjoyed that French pronunciation. Thank you, Royce. <laughs> bain vital, dermocalme. How'd I do? <laughs> okay. Enough about this. Let's get into the nitty gritty of the shampoo and why I love it. I did want to make one little disclaimer. I am not a doctor and I am not giving medical advice. If you're having issues that go beyond just dry scalp, dry itchy scalp, my recommendation would always be to speak with your healthcare provider. So let's get into why I love this shampoo. First of all, it does exactly what it says it's gonna do in a pretty short amount of time. When I first started using this product when I was having really bad issues, I would say within a week to two weeks, I was experiencing results. Here's what I love about this product. It is anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal, hypoallergenic, and it's silicone free. Boom, all of that in this one shampoo. One of the reasons I would recommend this product over a Selsun Blue or Head & Shoulders is it targets the issues on your scalp without damaging your hair. It's not gonna dry it out and it's not gonna weigh it down. This product actually addresses the flakes and the itchiness on your scalp and it makes your hair nice and light. If you did use this product, I would recommend using a good high quality conditioner to go along with it. And I'll make sure to link some of my favorites in the description below. However, if you're in the market for something that is just for dandruff and you really don't care what it does to your hair, you could go ahead and use the Selsun Blue Head & Shoulders. It's not my favorite, but I understand why people use it. But if you want to address your flakiness, your dryness, your itchiness, and protect your hair, this product is for you. How I would recommend you using this product is using it kind of like a treatment shampoo. You're gonna use it until you see the results from it, and then you can move back to a normal shampoo, preferably not suave, something higher quality so that you maintain the cleanliness and the treatment that this product offers you. Then after a while, if you feel like you're getting a lot of buildup, if you're getting more contact dermatitis where it's getting irritated from using a lot of products, then you can go back and use this until your problem is resolved and so on and so forth for the rest of eternity. <laughs> what I would say is that this product is a good product to have in your shower kind of all the time in case you're getting those flaky, dry, itchy flare-ups. Another thing to note about this shampoo is the smell. What I would say about it is it's, it's kind of fresh and clean, a little more clinical and not as 
floral. Bryce is gonna come in and give his smell test, his super sniffer smell test. Hey, you look a lot like that French guy. <laughs> it does have a clinical smell, a little bit, but it's also very fresh. Oh, it does have menthol in it. So if you're someone that doesn't like menthol, it's not very strong, is what I will say to that. It, it makes your scalp feel nice and fresh, but it's not like Vicks Vapor Rub on your scalp. Yeah. It's a pleasant smell. It's not like you just went to like Neiman Marcus and... No. But you didn't really even smell it in my hair when I have been using it, no. have you? No. Thanks, Royce, for your super siffer smell test. Here are some tips and tricks on how to use this product in your hair. One, with any shampoo, you wanna make sure your hair is very wet. Another thing, this product doesn't lather a lot, so less is more. Start with a little and build up if you feel like you need a little bit more product, but really a quarter size amount is what you should start with. If you're feeling like you maybe need a little extra help, you put some volumizing texture spray in your hair last week and you just need a little extra breakthrough, go ahead and use a little bit more, but use sparingly. One, because this product does cost a lot, and two, it's very concentrated, so you don't need a lot. Like all shampoos, you're wanting to concentrate at your scalp, not your mid lengths and ends, and because you're trying to address your dry, itchy scalp, that just makes sense. Right here. There are a couple things that I am not too crazy about with this shampoo. Number one, this does have blue one in it. I'm not a huge fan of extra dyes. I don't think it's necessary for the use of the product, but it's in there, it's blue, makes sense. A lot of like head and shoulders also blue, they're all blue, so it's trying to fit in with the other dandruff shampoos that are on the market. The other thing that I don't absolutely love about this product is that it is a $35 shampoo for eight and a half ounces. Like I said before, it's more of a treatment shampoo. So you're gonna treat your symptoms and then eventually move over to a different shampoo. Also, this product is very concentrated and it doesn't lather a lot. So you wanna make sure that you're using a small amount, not overusing the product because then it'll last you longer. You're really using this product to address your issues at your scalp. You're not trying to shampoo all of your hair. I've been using this shampoo from Care Sauce off and on for about eight years and it has always fixed my issues. That is why I highly recommend it. And I would highly recommend you considering spending the $35 to keep this in your shower for when your issues come up. More recently, I had an experience with a new mousse that I was trying out and I put it right here at my bangs because I need some more control, more hold for my bangs. And I started to notice I was getting really itchy and really flaky. The only thing that was changed in my hair care routine was trying this new mousse. So I immediately stopped using that mousse, but then I was still having some residual flakiness and itchiness. And that's when I knew what I needed to do. <laughs> I went online and I bought my Dermocalm. If you can't swing the $35, totally get it. No judgment here. There are other dandruff shampoos that are on the market at a lower price point. Some things that you can do to help prevent your dry and itchy scalp, if $35 is just not in your budget, would be to eliminate high fragrance, high silicone products from your hair care routine. And that's just not shampoo and conditioner. That can be styling products, hairsprays, mousses, creams, anything that can come into contact with your scalp that can irritate it. A great tool for a healthy scalp is drink plenty of water, eat a balanced diet. I'm still working on that one. <laughs> Maintaining a healthy lifestyle. All of those things contribute to a healthy scalp. While I was preparing for this video, I did come across another video from another YouTube hairstylist that I have come to know and love. I mean, I don't know him personally, but Brad Mondo did a great video speaking with a YouTube doctor about dandruff shampoos. And I wanna link that in the description below for you because I thought it was very informative. And if you need a little bit more information about dandruff beyond just dry and itchy scalp, it could be a good option for you. So that's it. This is the shampoo that I would recommend for anyone that is having issues with dry, itchy, flaky scalp. Bon vita de mo calma. Specific. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, 
spécifique. Am I French? Do I sound French? Let me know in the comments. Who spoke it better? Me or the French man that popped in earlier? If you want to purchase this product, we will leave a link in the description below. If you buy it from us, it really helps our channel out. You help support our channel so I can keep giving away products. <laughs> I love giving stuff away. That's it for me, folks. Like and subscribe. Head over to our channel on Thursdays at 2 p.m. where I go live with all the ladies in the town. It's wonderful. We just hang out and have some fun. I'm gonna recommend a video here, and I'm gonna recommend a video here, and I'm gonna make you subscribe right here, and just do it. Just, just subscribe, just go hit the like button. You can do it. Thank you so much. Here's the shampoo. There's a link in the description. You know, a few years ago, Kerasos changed their cap have less plastic in it, but I don't really think it did anything. <laughs>